Whoops. It looks like I've bricked my 3DS and it won't turn back on. How can I fix this? Keep watching. Stay tuned to find out. This only works for boot nine strap users and CFW. The reason my 3DS is bricked is because I deleted all of the firm files. Now sometimes you may end up doing this because you're trying to completely start a new 3DS system boot or you want to install some new custom firmware or something like that. But there's other ways to uninstall it. If you happen to destroy all of your files and don't make a backup then you will no longer have the receding files that the Nintendo 3DS custom firmware needs in order to boot and thus you'll get your 3DS not being able to power on. So how do I fix this? One way is you can reacquire all of the files that the 3DS is using in order for it to boot. Or you can do it this way by installing SIG hacks. Only do it this way if you cannot recover your original firmware boot files. And note, keep in mind, this is not the blue screen soft brick, if you've noticed in the beginning of the video. So let's get to fixing this problem. First, you'll need to download the root folder. I've left links down in the description for this. Go download that RAR folder and then we can continue. Remove your SD card from your 3DS and insert it into your computer using an SD card reader or some sort or FTP client or wirelessly. However you do this, you will need to connect your SD card to your computer. Once you've inserted your SD card to your computer, you will need to extract these files to the root of your SD card. After you extract the files to the root of your SD card, you're done. Reinsert your SD card back into your 3DS. And as you can see, there's life. The 3DS's file caching system before boot was able to load the files that it needs in order to get back its recovery files so that we can get back to our 3DS home menu. So the only thing you need to do now is press A and then put in the button combination as you can see here. Press A again and then it'll install SIG hacks. After you install SIG hacks, you're pretty much finished. Hold the power button until your 3DS goes off. After your 3DS powers off, remove your SD card from your 3DS and reinsert it into your PC. Now there will be another link down in the links in the description where you will be able to download a Luma 3DS boot.firm. You'll be needing this. So go and download that from the links in the description. After you've downloaded that, you now want to extract this to the root of your SD card. You can delete the old firm or overwrite it. Either one will work. After you've placed the boot.firm to the SD card, remove your SD card from your computer and reinsert it into your 3DS. After you've reinstalled your SD card to your 3DS, the Rosalina menu should appear. The only thing you'll have to do is press start. You could also adjust settings how you would like. But after you're finished, hit the start button. And now you should be set back to the main menu of your home screen on your 3DS. Well, that's going to be it for the tutorial, guys. If it's helped you, make sure to leave a like. Also, you can reach me on Discord. I'll leave that information down in the description as well if you need help. Although, I will say I'm not on there much because I'm pretty busy. But I'll leave that information for you anyway. Also, Make sure to leave a comment as well if you need help down there, or if you want to comment, I can get to you guys in the comment section there as well. Well anyways guys, and girls, that'll be it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, this has been K7. Peace.